We'll start with the Mustard R43, size 12, for this uh, flying wood ant. And we'll put some black tine thread in the middle of the hook shank and we'll just work our way back. Take that off there, like so. Then what we need is a small length of polypropylene yarn, black. I want to tie this in. Down just a wee bit into the bend, like so. And then we can remove that bit there. Good. Then we go back. This is super fine. Just catch that in there. Cut the turns and then we can tighten it up. This should be really dense this dubbing so it really forms a a hard ball and the back or the abdomen of the wood ant is quite a big piece so we need a bit more dubbing on there okay up there we go that's well tight okay then we need a uh, toothbrush just to open the fibers in the poly arm there we go that's nicely done and then what we do, if I spin that over, we pull these over the top. Give it a couple of turns loose and then we can tighten everything up. There we are, excellent. Trim that off now. Just tie that down from the midsection. And what we need is two dun, blue dun hackles. Put that one in there. a bit too long so we just pull that one through there we go go back just to lift these a little there we are then we can trim off these two forward some more super fine black dubbing just get the head done again really tight nice and tight this that 
I'm going to do a little bit of dubbing afterwards. I'll just bang that on there. And we'll get rid of that. Good. Go back here. And what we need now is a brown hackle. And we want this 90 degrees from the body. I'll do is forward to there tie that off So, and we can remove that, and then I just need a tiny pinch of dubbing to tighten up the head. Whip finish. Remove that, and you can keep the full hackle on if you wish, but I like to trim off. All that on the underside, and it floats beautifully. The real fish catcher. Very nice pattern. Flying ant. 